YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another vintage tech review. And now, this one I'm super excited for, what I'm holding in my hand right here, is an Optimus CTR-115 handheld audio cassette recorder. Um, I've had this thing for several years now. I got it back in 2005, I think, somewhere around there. And I used to re use this thing all the time to record band practice and just, you know, take to shows with me and record bands. And uh, yeah, it records pretty good. Now, there's a few different ways you can record with this thing. And I actually am going to try something today that I've never actually tried with this. But I'll show you that here in a few minutes. What I'm doing is I'm actually at my drum set right now. You can probably tell because I'm in the little box room. But let me switch over the camera here so you can see. Okay, so yeah, I'm here in my drum room. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and record some drums. I have a brand new uh, Maxell 90 minute normal bias cassette tape that I'm going to be using. And uh, you may wonder where do you get these things, but it's actually not that hard to find them in New York City. There's all these little, uh, uh, they're just called 99 cent stores in Brooklyn. And they have all kinds of stuff in these things. They have like cassette, blank cassettes. There's like every adapter that you could ever possibly imagine. And so like I always go there and I find all kinds of stuff. But uh, so I got a brand new cassette there and it was $1.50. So I'm going to put it in. Make sure my video is recording there. And I'm going to record drums with the built-in microphone on this cassette recorder, and you guys can hear what it sounds like. And where should I put it? Um, I guess right here. Go to places any. All right, so as you can hear, it's really not that bad, actually, especially being like so close to the drums. The only problem, though, is the built-in mic tends to distort, especially on the high end, like the cymbals. Uh, there's that like kind of like clipping sound. However, a few years ago, I actually picked up from Radio Shack this microphone that was literally built for this thing, and it plugs in to the microphone plug on the top here, just like that. And then this mic actually, uh, it improves the sound quality quite a bit. It no longer seems to get that distortion from the cymbals, but I'm gonna go ahead and record some more so you guys can hear how this one sounds. All right, so as you can tell, the high-end distortion is now gone when I use the external mic. And uh, I actually really love the way that sounds. It's really lo-fi, but it sounds you know clear. It's not distorted, and I think it's really cool. I'm definitely going to start using this more again. I had it in storage for a long time. So I think what I'm probably going to do for my next drum loop pack is actually use some recordings from this thing. So I think that'll be really cool. But anyway, I have one more way to test this. And this is going to be pretty uh, funny, but hey, that's why I'm here. So here we go. Okay, so <laughs> as I said, this is pretty ridiculous. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm actually, I mic'd up some drums individually. Uh, basically just the kick I have in channel one. I'm using my little Behringer uh, micro mixer here. So kick, snare, and then a single overhead. 
And I'm using my kick drum mic that I always use down there. It's an it's a uh, CAD. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, and then the overhead, I'm using one of the ribbon mics up there, the Nady ribbon mics, uh, because this is actually just a mono uh, cassette recorder. Um, so there's no need to do two uh, overhead mics. And then on the snare drum, I have my uh, ATM uh, 650 Audio Technica. And so first I'm gonna have to get some levels and then we'll see how this sounds. I have no idea, I've never tried this before. Um, another thing too is like, there's no way to really adjust the recording level on the CTR-115, it just does it automatically. So sometimes you get some compression you know, from it like like uh, adjusting the recording level as you record, which sometimes sounds pretty cool though. But we'll see how this sounds. This might actually sound really good. I don't know. We'll see. I've got to say that sounds way better than I thought it would actually it sounds really pretty darn good like the only thing is though is I think I could have had the overhead level up a little bit uh, higher it's a little hard to get the levels because I mean just it's just weird you know it's hard to do it so what I'm gonna do is actually adjust it a little bit and see if I can get the overhead a little bit louder and maybe bring the snare down a little bit and we'll see how that sounds Alright, so that's the CTR-115 and how it sounds for recording drums, and it's pretty damn cool. Like, you can find these things on eBay. Uh, luckily, the one I have is in perfect working condition. Uh, it's very handy. Uh, it's a cool cassette recorder. Uh, it's mono, like I said, so if you want to get something for listening to music, it's really not the best because you're only going to hear one side of the music if you play it back. And it's not really a Walkman, but if you're just going for recording, um, these things are really nice, you know? It's a very cool analog sound. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, check out my Patreon page. It's just patreon.com slash demonic sweaters. And always, you can check out anthillrecordings.com. That's, or anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com, rather. That's my record label. And all of my music is on there, as well as here on YouTube. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I love all you guys, and uh, see you real soon.